happy Friday. It's your man, Clawboy Bales, and welcome to another episode of Wake Up Call. Uh, we have a lot to discuss. Uh, big week for Wisconsin sports. Um, but before I begin, I also like to give my condolences to my college of Eau Claire. Their men actually got in the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2001. So I got to give my congratulations towards them and good luck tonight as they play against Whitman College. So that will be an interesting game. The tip off is at five o'clock. Um, for those who don't know, Dooley's is actually playing the game. So head over there if you want to watch. And of course, the game is online. And then this weekend, the girls are home against River Falls for the WIAC Girls Championship game. And the men, ho- I'm talking about hockey, the men are at Stevens Point. Both ga- um, the women's game is at 2 o'clock and the men's game is at 7 o'clock. So um, obviously got to give my support to them out, them too. Also, the wrestling team is, a couple of the members are heading to nationals, so I wish them good luck. All right, getting to today's episode. Um, our today's sponsor is um, Mini Starburst. It's mini and it's red. These are my favorite candies, so you better get them. All right, all right, so... Um, so, um, of course, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Bucks. Um, big game, big, 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 big game tonight. Um, well, of course, uh, part two, we play the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, I'm really excited for this matchup. Um, this is going to be exciting. Um, obviously, probably one of the top matches... Uh, matchups of the year for any team actually the top two the top two teams in the league are really heading out so um this is going to be outstanding um i'm expecting a really nice fit close game um i don't know who's going to win um this is going to this is going to come down to the very end i i believe it um if the bucks if the bucks win i'll be so happy if we get another win in la um for the injury report for the Bucks, of course, Corver was actually taken off the injury report. He's missed like the last two weeks or something, or two or three weeks or something, with some back injury or something that really I didn't know anything about. It was kind of disclosed and quiet, but he finally was taken off. I don't know if that means he'll play or not, but it would be great to get him back. Um, and then George Hill had the issue with the groin injury against the Miami Heat loss. Um where Goran Dragic accidentally hit him in the groin, and he got, yeah, you know, we I think a lot of people saw that. Um, speaking of which, um, this should be an interesting game, because also, um, so of course we all know the news, uh, Lakers just signed Deion Waiters. Um, he's had a really rocky year, he's been suspended three times, had an issue on the plane, where he was high off of edibles, and he basically just kept getting suspended, so the team traded him to Memphis, where Memphis cut him, um, and then the Lakers picked him up. Originally, the Lakers were planning on going for uh, J.R. Smith, but looks like they'd rather have Deion Waiters, which, you know, is fine. I, I'm, I'm, it, this, the move's not that bad. It really isn't. Um, thoughts about it. Um, and then also, um, I should have said this earlier, uh, Anthony Davis is actually questionable tonight too. Um, he's been having knee problems. He did play in the latest game against the Sixers, but you know, he said his name is still up there for being questionable. I mean, I think he will play, but like, I don't, it's kind of a, it gives us a little bonus. Giannis, when we played against the Lakers last year, Davis kept driving and Davis kept scoring, and it was hard to stop him. Um, The only person that really played good defense was Giannis. Everybody else just could not. So that's a huge that's a huge deal. Um, The reason why the Bucks won in the last game was because their bench only scored two points. Their entire bench only scored two points. So we were able to win that game because of it. I wouldn't say LeBron had the greatest game. AD 
played really well. Danny Green was knocking down, I think he knocked down like seven threes or something. Um, you know, I'm really, I'm, I'm very convinced what will happen. I, I really am. So, I'm going to say Lakers do pick up the win tonight, but if the Bucks win, I'll be happy. I say Lakers by one. I, I don't know. It, it's going to be really, it's going to be so close. You can't really tell, but I got to go with the home team. Can't, can't not say anything. Um, speaking of which, this is a three-game road trip for Milwaukee. They will be facing the Lakers tonight, and then they'll be facing the Phoenix Suns on Sunday at 5 o'clock, and then Monday night, they'll be facing the Denver Nuggets at 8 o'clock. So, I would say a little tougher road trip. Uh, you know, we've had our troubles with Phoenix in the past. I don't think they really are as good as they are. And the the last time we faced them, we really had it out, and we had a good win, so I salute them. And then I'd say Denver did really tire us, and it just this was just a game that Denver just was out on every limb, and they could not miss their shots. So I I they get they deserved that win when we played in the first time. I don't know if the game will be that the second time, but. I don't really want to be swept by a team this year. I really don't. So I'm just, I'm hoping they get all, like, I'm hoping in this trip they go two out of three. That's my hope. I don't really, if we end up losing two out of, if we end up losing, that's, it's okay. I'm fine with that. Like, I'm hoping, you know, we win tonight, we win Phoenix, and then if we lose against Denver, I'd be like, so what? It's like, we struggle against them. So that's that. And then we're going to be home for a while, so that's nice. Five straight home games against some pretty good teams, I guess you could say. Uh, Boston's one of them, Warriors, um, Miami, Memphis, you know, Detroit. I, I, I don't know. I forgot what the order is, but yeah. I'll obviously get to that later. Um, okay, I've talked too much Bucks here. <laughs> But um, I should talk about the Brewers. Um, of course, we just recently had the the big signing. We had the big reveal. Um, Christian Yelich, seven year extension. Dude will probably be a Brewer the rest of his career. I don't see him going anywhere after this. Um, obviously, and like after he signed, he stated that he doesn't know. He doesn't know any other place he'd be. He says Milwaukee's his home. He wants to be here. In the last two years of his career, he's just had so much fun. So that's a great thing. So it's like over $200 million or something, $215 million, nine years. Yeah, he's, he's worth that money. He's absolutely worth that money. I don't care what anyone says. Now, here's the thing. People are worried that this move for the Brewers will jeopardize their team for the coming years. Now, people will believe that no talent's going to come into Milwaukee if, because of this move. Now, I get that. People are like, we should have traded Yelich. Why would Kent Rosenthal say that? It makes no sense. Okay? So, don't... It. I'm happy. He's the friend... But I'm I this is my prediction. I I know about Brewer players, okay? I'd say Braun will have his name up there. Eight will be retired. I guarantee it. But there's number four and there's number nineteen. Molitor, who I'd consider is a great legend, even though he's more Minnesota than Milwaukee. And then there's Yacht Robin Yount, who basically is Mr. Brewer. Everybody knows who he is. In my opinion. Christian Yelich will go down as the greatest player to ever play for the Brewers in these nine years. These these rest of these nine years, he's he's gonna be here till twenty twenty eight. That's a long time, okay? This is gonna be it's twenty twenty now. Twenty twenty eight is a long ways away. So, this is a huge deal for the Brewers that we we're able to get him. I'm really happy about this. All right, and um, of course I'm gonna get to March Madness. Um, talking about the Badgers a little bit, um, they're actually very surprising me. Um, they have won seven straight. I would have never guessed this. 
and they have a double bye in in the Big Ten tournament. I would have never predicted the way they started the year going 5-5. Five and five. I'm like, this is a terrible team. I thought I was never going to watch them. I was like, Greg Gard's going to be gone. I just like, this just technically, their, their program's in ruins. But something happened, and after Kobe King departed, voila, they just happened to go on this run. Now, do I really think the Badgers are legitimate contenders? I don't know. I haven't really seen that. But, like, once I once the Big Ten tournament comes around, I'll be able to know. Um, they do have one more game, and Marquette also has one more game, too. Now, Marquette is on a bubble. Now, let's, let, let, let me say this. Marquette is now on the bubble. Now, they're starting to lose all these games. I don't know what's going on with them, but... I think it's about time Steve Wojo had got his big booty out of here. Whew. Yeah, but I mean, I'm happy that Marcus Howard is being Marcus Howard. It's not anything else, but everyone's like, oh, Steve Wojo's a terrible coach, all this, all that. Marcus Howard's a toxic player. He's not a toxic player. His teammates suck. That's why he does everything. So grow up. So stupid. Yeah, so anyways, um, anyways, I'm talking about the Badgers. I don't even care about Marquette anymore. Um, Badgers are tied for first place, I think, with like Michigan State and uh, Michigan State and uh, Maryland. I think we have the, I think because we beat Michigan State and Maryland in the second, is it? I think we have the first, I think we actually have first place, if I'm correct. So... I thought we were the worst team and we might end up being the first seed in the thing. That just blows my mind. Alright. Um, obviously, once those brackets come out, I'm pretty much going to probably make a video on that. Um, and then we'll see what goes from there. I had a really rough night. I'm really tired. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's that. Um, anyways... Um, Upcoming games, um, we had, I mean, obviously, Bucks play Lakers tonight. Tip-off is at 9.30 p.m. on ESPN. Obviously, just watch it, because why not? Uh, tomorrow, uh, the Wisconsin, the 24th-ranked Wisconsin Badgers take on the Indiana Hoosiers in Indiana. That game is on 11 p.m. on ESPN, so obviously watch it, because got to support the Badgers. Another win would likely do it. I'm not, I don't care about how high of a seed they get. Personally, I, I, it, honestly, that we got, the, because we have the double buy, I'm happy. I'm satisfied. I don't care. And then Marquette finishes their regular season playing uh, at St. John's. So, and that game is also at 11. And judging from everything, I don't think that game is on national television. So I don't think that one will be even be watchable. And then also, at 3 o'clock, the Wild take on the LA Kings. So, I don't really pay attention to hockey because Wisconsin doesn't have hockey, but of course I gotta always say everything. And tonight, oh, I'm sorry, and tonight the Blackhawks take on the Red Wings at 6.30. So, anyways, um, yeah, just let's, let's keep in mind that this is gonna be an interesting week. Um, an interesting month for the Bucks, an interesting month for watching how the Brewers are going to be. I might have a little video talking about more in-depth on Brewers later on. Um, speaking of which, tonight, today at 2.05, they play against uh, San Francisco. I forgot to say that. Um, and, um, yeah, that's that. So, of course, every Friday is my new episode of Wake Up Call. It's your boy, Cloud Boy Bales. Signing off. I will see you all next week. Go Bucks!